Hello Divination and welcome. In this video, we'll be using a low Z index module borders as backgrounds with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. So we're gonna give this page a name. So you can give this page whatever name you want, but I'm gonna call this low Z index. Next, I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. So for our design here, we're going to start everything from scratch. So I'm gonna click here on start building. All right, so now that we have this all set, we need to go into our section settings. So I'm gonna come over here, click this gear icon. And the very first thing I need to do is to add my padding. So my top and bottom padding is going to be zero. So let's click here on spacing. So I'm gonna add my value here, the top and bottom. And then I need, also need to go to the advanced tab and set my overflow. So I'm gonna click on visibility and set this to hidden. So the same also goes for the vertical overflow. And now it's time to add my columns. So I'm gonna save this, click on the plus button and the column structure I'm gonna go with is two equal columns. So I'm gonna select that. And before we can start uh, working on anything, I need to add my background color to my row. So I'm gonna click away from this and go into my row settings, click on background and add my color by clicking on this plus button. Now, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link in the post, the show notes below. So I'm gonna come over here now to design sizing. So here we need to set our gutter width. So I'm gonna set this to one. Now our gutter width is the space between the columns. So I wanna make sure there's no spaces between the columns. So I'm gonna set it to one. And then I'm gonna activate equalize column heights. And then I'm gonna set my maximum width and my minimum width to 100% because I want this design to be edge to edge. Next, I'm gonna come all the way down here to spacing and as we did before with the uh, sections, I'm gonna set my padding to zero and zero both to the top and the bottom. Now let's go to our column one settings. So I'm gonna go back over here to content and click the gear icon for column one. So here I'm gonna add a background gradient. So I'm gonna come over here, click on background and the tab I need to go with is the second tab. Then I'm gonna click on the plus button and let's add our colors. So my first, I mean, my second color here is going to be this value. And then on my first color here is going to be an RGBA value. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this slider down a little bit and then paste my values between the brackets and these are all zeros, like that. Now moving on, we need to set our gradient direction. So I'm gonna set this to 90 degrees and then I'm gonna set my start and end position to 54. So now this is gonna give us a solid line. Next, I'm gonna to go to my box shadow. So I'm gonna click here on design box shadow and I'm gonna go with the first option. So the only thing I need to change here is my blur strength and I'm gonna set this to 80. Right, so let's save this and then save it one more time. So on column one, we're going to add a text module. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for it and select it. So for now, we're just gonna get rid of all this text. We're gonna leave it blank. And then I'm gonna come over here to design sizing and I'm gonna set my width to 24 VW. Now let's head over to spacing because here we need to add our top margin and we're gonna set this to 15 VW. And then for my left margin, I'm gonna set it to 12 VW. And then my top padding is going to be 32 VW. Now let's head over to the border. Now our border here is going to go on all sides. So first of all, I'm gonna start by adding my border color here. And then I'm going to add my border width. I'm gonna set it to 2VW. So pretty much that's all I need to do for now. I'm gonna save that. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to add another text module to column one. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. So my text I'm gonna add here is just from Lorem Ipsum. So I'm gonna go in and paste it in here. But of course, you know, it can be even just the name. So you can even just set it as, you know, Laura Ibsen. Okay, so now that I've added my text, let's go in and add our background color for this text. So I'm gonna click here on background and click on the plus button and add my color. 
Now let's come over here to our design text and we're going to set our font here to Monster Rat and the weight is going to be bold, uppercase. We're going to center it. And we also need to add a color to this and also the text size. So for our color, I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. And then I am going to set my size to 4 VW. Currently it's at 14 pixels. So I'm going to set my color here. And for my letter spacing, I'm just going to, you know, reduce the space over here by setting this to minus 0.2. Now we also need to change the width here. So I'm going to go to my sizing and set my width to 27 VW. Now let's head over here to spacing. Now here on the spacing, we're going to go to our top margin. We're going to set it to minus 23.2 VW. And then for our left margin, we're going to set this to 21.5. And then now it's time to add our padding. So for our padding, I'm going to set this to 4 VW both to the top and the bottom. And then left and right is going to be 2 VW and then activate the chain to apply the value on both sides. Now we need to uh, rotate this text. So to rotate it, we need to come over here to transform, transform, rotate, and let's set this value here to 270 degrees, and then let's save this. Now let's add an image to column one. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and search for my image module. Choose my image, and the image I'm going to go with is uh, this one right here. Now, if you want to use your own images, the size is going to be 466 by 703 or something very close to that. So I'm going to select my image here. Now I'm going to go to Design, Sizing, and Force Full Width. Now over here on Spacing, let's add our margins. So Show Space before, uh, Below Image, we are going to say no to that. And then for our margin, I'm going to set this to minus 6 VW. And for our left margin, I'm going to set this to minus 3 VW. Now let's add our right padding. And I'm going to set this to 22 VW. And then over here on the filters, I'm going to set my saturation to... Let's bring it down to about 43%. Okay, so let's save this for now. All right, so moving on, we need to also add a text module here to column two. So I'm going to click on this plus button, search for my text module and select it. So I'm just going to replace this with my dummy lorem text um, font. And then I'm also going to customize this. So the very first thing we need to do here is to go to our design tab. And let's change our font to Monster Ads. And for our text alignment, we're going to adjust this to justify. And for our text color, I'm going to set this to this color right here. And as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So moving on, we're going to add our text size. And this is going to be 0.9 VW. And then for our line height, I'm going to set this to 2.5 EM. Now let's head over here to spacing. Now on spacing, we're going to start with our top margin. So that's going to be 10 VW and then left and right padding. We're going to set this to 8 VW. So this is going to go both to the left and the right. In fact, I've got it here on the wrong place. This needs to be left and right. So I'm activate my chain. So now you can see this has much better breathing space and we can read that text much easier. All right, so moving on, we need to clone this text module. So I'm going to save this for now and then just duplicate this. We're only going to do it, uh, we're only going to do it once. And then uh, for this to look nice, we need to remove the top margin. So I'm going to come over here, go to design, spacing, and I'm going to remove the top margin. So now that we have these two, what we're going to do next is to add another text module, but this needs to go between these two that we've just added. So I'm going to set it here, and I'm just going to add a line here of lorem text. And you know what? Let's just add it as a single line. Okay, so that's my text there. So I also need to go in and customize this 
and stylize and stylize it. So I'm going to click here on design text, change this to monster rat. And then I'm going to set this to semi bold. And my text color here is going to be uh, this color right here. And then my size is going to be slightly bigger. So here we're going to set this to 2VW. And for my line height is going to be 1.4. Now let's go to our top and bottom padding. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. And we're going to set this to 4VW. And we're also going to do the same to the left and right padding. We're going to save that. Now it's time to add a button. So I'm going to come over here, click on this plus button and add a button module. I'm going to select that. So here we can say, I mean, you can add whatever you want uh, as the title of the button. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. And then what we need to do now to customize this button is to go into our custom styles for button. So we're going to come over here to design button activate custom styles for button. And the very first thing we're going to do is to enter our text size. Next, I'm going to add my button text color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. And then we also need to go in and add our button background color. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit, click on this plus button and paste my button background color. Okay, so we're not done yet uh, because we need to go in and uh, remove the border because currently we have a border by default and we're also going to get rid of the border radius. So as you can see, our button here is way too tiny. We're also going to um, come over here to our button fonts, choose Monster Rat. And so to complete the design of the button, we need to come all the way down here to spacing. And this is where we're going to add a top margin of 2VW and then we're also going to add a bottom margin. So we just want to add some space around this button here. So we're going to set this to 10 VW. And now let's add a left margin. And this time this is going to be 8 VW. So now you can see everything is all in line. Okay, so now the next stage is to add our top padding and our bottom padding. So I'm going to come over here. And it's going to be the same value, 1.5 VW. And then finally, we need to add the left and right. So I'm going to enter my left and right padding here. In fact, it needs to be 4 VW. Okay, there we go. So now our button is nice and big. Let's save this because this is our last step. I'm going to publish this. And now let's take a look at our final design. So I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. And this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.